What is going on guys? So the insane one back here again. Uh, now I'm back bringing you guys another review. And uh, you know, today was a really good day for me. And uh, it was a really good day because today I took my final practical um, in school for, um, you know, getting my certificate as, as, a, as a student barber. So I passed today and I'm very excited about that. And you know, I'm one step closer to, uh, you know, being able to take my state boards and become a licensed barber finally. And um, you know, the, the hard work is start, starting to pay off for me and I'm really excited about it. I got one week left. I got one more test to do and I am done. So like I said, very, very uh, excited and um, can't wait to, you know, become a licensed barber and, and do what, you know, what I really have come to love and, you know, what is a passion of mine now. And um, I want to thank you guys for, you know, giving me good wishes and all the, all the, you know, concern about my barbering and schooling and stuff. So thank you guys for, uh, you know, the kind words, in other words. So let's get on to the review, man. And uh, last video, I explained to you guys that I wanted to uh, do a review when I um, got freshly cut up. So today, I just got back from um, Ollie's Barbershop, my apprenticeship. Cam over there hooked me up with a really badass cut. Cut the top a little bit, got the sides blended in. So this is what it looks like before. And I will explain more about the cut when I am done styling with uh, the product that I'm going to be using. And uh, yeah, let's get into it, man. So today, we're going to be doing a review of Lockhart's Authentic Hair Pomade. This one is their medium hold. Now, I reached out to Steve over from Lockhart's and um, chatted with him a bit and tried to get some of his stuff. So he sent me some um, of, his, of his pomades. And um, I've used it a few times, and he wanted me to do a specific review on the medium hold. And I was really excited to get this stuff uh, because you know I've seen a lot of talk about his products online, especially on ATP and stuff. And I have not tried too much of his stuff. Um, in fact, I never tried any of it until you know recently. Um, so you know, I finally got some of the stuff in my hands, and I'm really excited to review it. So starting off. Um, says proudly made in Michigan and I know that he was a home brewer um, you know so he makes his stuff by hand by himself and ingredients you know he has simple ingredients that's what's cool about this stuff and I love pomades that have simple ingredients like this petroleum beeswax coconut oil olive oil and then perfume which is the fragrance um, so opening up the tin we get a nice creamy white looking pomade um, with the, those those pomade swirls in it, the brewing swirls. I love when pomade looks like that, like marble kind of kind of look to it. The smell, uh, it smells uh, really fresh, really really manly. I do like the way this stuff smells. Um, yeah, man, I, I really do like the way this stuff smells. It uh, it reminds me of ah oh, man, I can't really put a put my finger on it, but it has a really um natural kind of smell to it like with the essential oils that he probably uses in it or the fragrance that he uses in it I can smell like some bay bay rum kind of smell to it that's the closest thing I put to like a bay rum kind of scent and it's and it's manly that's why I like it and it's not too overpowering so scent really good so far and uh, like you see I've used it um, a little bit and uh, you know the little bit that I did use it um, no I did like it so taking this stuff out of the tin it kind of feels, honestly, it feels like a heavy when you take it out of the tin um, when you're trying to break over the first layer of the pomade. Um, but when you get down to the the bottom part of, after the layer, the first layer, it becomes really smooth and creamy when it feels like a uh, like a medium hold. So uh, that's what it looks like. This is the consistency, kind of tacky, um, kind of mushy feeling, but you know it's a medium hold. So let's get into it here. All right, so working it into the hands, guys. Um, like I said, it it's becomes a really creamy consistency, breaks down very well. Doesn't clump up that bad at all. Actually, not at all. It clumps up. Um, you can feel it a little bit, but nothing, nothing too, you know, insane. It's breaking it down. Nothing, you know, that nobody can handle. And it does feel like a creamy medium hold. So hair is slightly damp. Um, and we're gonna work this into the hair now. Right. So going into the hair, no tug and pull whatsoever. 
actually feels really good going into the hair. And like a lot of other pomades, when you break it down, you can really smell it. And the stuff smells really good, man. I do like the way this, this stuff smells. Get some more. Yeah, man, this stuff does smell really good. So kudos to him for the for the scent on this stuff. I had no product in my hair whatsoever, so um, I did get my hair texturized and thinned out, um, just so I can get a bit more uh, height to it, more movement to the hair. Um, like I've stated before, man, I got a really really um, full head of hair I got my density of my hair is is you know, up there so I have a lot of hair to cover when I do um, style it and uh, you know put new product in Grab a little bit more. And it's working into the hair. Very nice. Get a little bit more hair on the sides, guys. I know there's been, um, I don't know, probably a few other reviews of, of lock cards on the web and on YouTube. Um, and that's why I was uh, excited to get this stuff. Because all the talk on ATP about Lock Hearts has been positive and, you know, they enjoy and love this pomade. So, you know, hats off to Steve for, for uh, having a successful, you know, brew that he came up with. And I know he, he has more. Um, he has goon grease and is heavy. And I'm pretty sure he has a light hold as well. So, would love to get my hands on more of his stuff. And I'll be doing a review, actually, of... Uh, of the goon grease as soon as I can because I did get some of that stuff in. It's got quite a bit in here, man. Just want to really fully coat the hair this time because uh, his tins, um, you know, they're fairly decent size, probably at like six, four ounce tins, so. You know, I like that. I like when you get a, you get what you pay for. You know, you get a good, good amount of uh, pomade, and you can use, you know, use it. Um, you know, you have to be so sparingly with it. So for a medium man, um, I can already feel like it's gonna have a pretty decent hold. If you guys could tell, I mean, not bad at all. Especially for a medium. To be honest with you guys, I love medium pomades. They're probably my favorite, to be honest with you. Because, you know, when you first your first day of, of styling with it isn't isn't like crazy hole or anything, but when you get a good buildup with a good medium pomade, it styles like on like no other pomade, man. So mediums are probably my favorite when it comes to you know, getting a, 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 a certain hold that you want to get from a pomade, I would choose a medium. You know, like say, uh, you know, like all the all the all the guys that brew it and make you know a medium, a heavy, a light. Usually, I go for the medium right away. Either be high life medium, Lockhart's medium, you know, that kind of thing. All right, guys, it's got into the hair. I'm gonna comb through it now. I'm using right now I'm using the thicker teeth on the comb though wider teeth on the comb just to get it through there nice and easily and there's no pulling no tugging whatsoever all right I have to put a little bit more on the top here 
just want to comb through to get all the hairs evenly coated fill the product so you're not you know missing anything that's in in the hair I'll grab just a little bit more put it kind of on the top maybe work it in a little bit right here where it's splitting a bit good way to tell where you've missed um, product in your hair especially if you have thicker hair like mine because um, it will pop up where um, it doesn't have as much product because you know my hair um, naturally is very poofy when dry so it likes to uh, likes to pop up So I'm going to mess around with it for a little bit. So I'm going to grab a pick and kind of think I might do just a regular pump today, man. No part. Just for the hell of it. I haven't done it in a while. point of this is just to elevate the hair, get some volume in it. And to be honest with you, man, the best way to uh, style a regular pump to me is to uh, blow dry the hair prior. Because blow drying the hair... Um, if you, especially if you have like really curly hair, um, it will straighten it out somewhat and it will give you tons of volume, especially with a grooming spray. So since I just got my hair cut, um, you know, the guys over always really know how to cut hair, um, especially when it comes to pompadours and stuff like that. So they know how to style it and how to cut it right way. And as you guys can tell, I mean, I barely had to work with it just now with a pick. And uh, it it's styled up to where I pretty much want it. And I might just leave it like that, to be honest with you guys. I mean, it's looking looking pretty good. And when I do my full pumps, I like them to be really rounded um, and uh, you know symmetrical. And sometimes, actually, you know what? I do like it to be kind of off to the side sometimes, but I'm going to keep this one a little bit symmetrical, maybe do, I kind of have a little bit of a wave right here, you can barely see it. I like when uh, when pumps do that and they have that to them. But to be honest with you guys, man, this pomade um, for medium is is really holding my hair really well man really good hold for a medium hold pomade um first starting off like i stated like i stated uh i do love the buildups of medium pomades and i can tell you right now the buildup with this pomade lockhart is gonna be gonna be fucking awesome plus the smell is is really really good back here guys looks good looks good to me man good enough and when you do get cut up and you get cut up the right way it makes styling that much more easier man as you guys can tell so all right I'm gonna leave it like this man just because I like the way it looks right now I like the way it feels and this pomade is fucking awesome man I really do gotta say this stuff is awesome I can see why the what the hype is all about with with Lockhart's good stuff Alright man, so there you guys have it. Nothing too insane, nothing too crazy in height. And here's the cut, final. Alright, so what I got pretty much was was a classic 1930s cut with a, with a bit of a disconnection to it, like I stated. Um, and it, uh, it contours to my head shape. So, I like that look. It looks really old school to me. If you look at some old school um, like 1930s, 1920s pictures. A lot of the guys um, didn't have it blended out like to a really blurry kind of fade or blurry 
you know, blend because they didn't have the, um, they didn't have like, you know, what we have today to really get every single notch of hair, you know, to a specific length. You know, they had to work with clipper over comb and uh, a lot of them even had to use, you know, just um, regular um, manual clippers. But, um, you know, I like that look. I think that look is really awesome with that kind of hard line in it. Um, really old school look. I don't see too many guys doing it nowadays. You know, so if you guys really like this kind of look, um, I'll probably be taking some more pictures on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. You'll be able to check out the, the pictures that I'm going to post. And if you want this cut, you know, take it to your barber. Show them the, show them the blend. Show them the cut. I'll try to get as many angles as I can of it. You know, a nice taper going on. But yeah, guys, I should do it for this one. Really like the cut. Um, probably my favorite cut so far that I've had done on me personally. Um, let me know what you guys think of the cut and, uh, you know, if you plan on getting it yourself. Uh, um, also, the beard's coming in quite nicely, man. I want to do some more beard videos for you guys, you know, beard products and stuff. Because I'll come, come across a lot of different ones. But yeah, man. Lockhart's Medium Hold. Really good stuff, I'd say so. I'll probably... No, one of, just judging it from right now, using it, it's going to be one of my favorite medium holds, man. Um, just because of the smell, the texture, the way it breaks down and goes into the hair. Plus the hold is, is, is you know, awesome for a medium hold. I know the buildup is going to be fucking awesome. So yeah, yeah, so yeah guys, so, you know, thanks for watching like always. Um, be sure to rate and subscribe, you know, like, like, the, like the video. Um, again, thanks for watching. You know my channel and all the support that you guys give out to me if you have not yet please check out my band never break i'll leave a link in the description below as well as links to you know where you can get some lock cards for yourself and um yeah man that should do it like always man take it easy